Hey, it's Adam here from adaminsights.com and today we're going to be comparing some real-world shots from the newly announced Leica M10 to the previous Leica M240. Yesterday I had the privilege of being able to try out an M10 down at the Adelaide Central Markets and I was able to take some similar shots uh, with it as I previously taken on the M240. Um, all of the shots that I'm about to show you were taken on the Leica 35mm f2 Simicron at 200 ISO and that's the same for the M10 and the M240 shots. Okay, so let's get started. What we're looking at here is a raw straight out of the camera from the M10 and as I say it's on the 35 f2 Simicron at 200 ISO. Immediately I reckon that there is less contrast going on in the shadows and that's a good thing it allows for more range for editing and I do find that the editability of the RAWs with the M10 are great I do like the way that it has captured this highlight on the hair here this is actually something which I've struggled to do a lot of with the M240 and it just seemed to be a bit easier with the M10 so very happy uh, with uh, the results here. What I should actually point out is I poured all of the high resolution samples, so full resolution samples of all of the shots that you're seeing here in this video on my blog, so head on over there. The link is in the description. Okay, so let's have a look at another shot. Alright, so what we've got here, we've got some highlights and we've got some shadows and some midtones. Let's have a look at how far we can push this shot. So let's take the highlights right down. Okay. Um, now let's bring the shadows uh, up. What about the whites? Can we take them down and can we crush the blacks? Yep. Can we then bring it all back with the exposure? Increase a little bit of vibrancy. Okay, that's about where it's starting to fall over. Let's just reset this so we can see where the shot came from. That's quite a lot of recoverability in both the highlights and in the shadows. Now let's have a look at this shot here. We've got a great comparison here with all of the shadows and we've got some highlights with the lighting going on on the food. I've got a similar shot uh, which was taken on the M240, but let's have a look at how recoverable these highlights are. So let's take the highlights down. And look at that, we've got all of this detail still available to us in the highlights. That is fantastic. Let's just bring the shadows up. And we can bring in more detail in the shadows. I'm very impressed. I'll just put a little bit of extra contrast uh, in there so it doesn't look too HDR-ish. So the dynamic range that we have available to us with the M10 is fantastic, but how does it actually compare to the M240? Let's have a look. Okay, so here's a shot that was taken down at the Adelaide Central Markets about a year ago on the Leica M240. And again, this was taken with the 35 f2 Simicron. This particular shot, we've blown out the highlights on the food under the lights around here and here. So how recoverable is it in comparison to that shot from the M10? Well, let's see. Let's take the highlights down. Not bad, but we've still blown out. Can we recover it with the whites? Not really. What about with the exposure? No, we're still blown out on the highlights uh, here. So in a similar type of a shot, the highlights from the M240 are nowhere near as recoverable as they are on the M10. The M10's highlights are more recoverable. That's great. As far as, I'm just going to reset this shot here. As far as shadows go, let's have a look at this shot. And again, I'm just going to reset it. As far as shadows go, I think it's actually a lot closer. I can recover shadows pretty well on the M240, 
But let's have a look at the highlights on this particular shot. So from the M240, try and recover the highlights. The whites, no, we've lost them. We, we cannot recover these highlights. Let's have a look at the same shot taken on the M10. Okay, so here is the same location, same lighting, same uh, exposure, same ISO taken on the M10. We can recover the shadows. And again, I don't think there's too much difference in the recovery available to us in the shadows between the M10 and the M240. But where the M10 is really shining is with the highlights. So if I just push those highlights down, there we go. We're able to recover these highlights far better than we were on the M240. So if we compare again, M240, the highlights are completely lost around here, whereas on the M10, they're not lost and we were able to recover them. So, in conclusion, do we have more dynamic range available on the M10 than we did on the M240? Definitely. And the recoverability and the editability of the shots is much better. The disappointment for me is that, as far as I understand, the M10 still has to pull 100 ISO. So if you want to shoot 100 ISO, you're going to lose a bit of detail in comparison to shooting at 200 ISO. So that's the same between the M240 and the M10 in that their native ISO is 200. If you want to shoot at 100, you're going to have to make some sacrifices uh, there, either in detail or in dynamic range. I would have also liked to have seen the resolution for the uh, M10 uh, bump up, but that said, after although I was only able to play around with the M10 for about 5 to 10 minutes and I couldn't take it very far outside of the camera shop to take these shots, the M10 does feel a lot nicer than the M240. It feels a bit more solid. It's definitely slimmer, you notice that. And the buttons are nicer. The screen is definitely uh, so much better. I found it easier to read. And the viewfinder, again, much better as well. The proof is in the pudding. There is a marginal improvement in image quality as far as uh, I'm concerned. But then, at the same time, I will happily say that I believe that my Leica M240 performs far better than anything from Sony, Canon, and uh, Nikon as far as dynamic range and image clarity and the color availability and the editability goes anyway. So, am I looking to upgrade? Well, if the M10 could shoot natively at 100 ISO, I definitely would have upgraded. At the moment, I'm still thinking about it. Alright guys, thanks. Okay, and I am ending this now.